Alrighty then, my game dev gangster Ronios over here inside of the sounds folder. You see how many sounds we have. So we have the spider jump per attack, we have the jump, game over, collectible, and so on and so forth. So going over here in the scripts and gameplay scripts, I'm going to right click and create a new C sharp script. I'm going to call this one sound controller or manager, however you want to call him. And over here, I'm going to create that game object. So create an empty game object, sound controller. Now, before we proceed to do anything with it, I am going to attach on him an audio source. So audio source. And we are going to use this one to preview the BG music. Now this here play on awaken loop should be checked if we want to display the BG. So over here going that there you go. Now even if I just run this right now, we will hear the BG music. So let me just turn off. <laughs> there you go. So we can hear the BG music that is done. So I am going to turn it off because we don't need it. This is how you can play the BG music. It's very simple. Just turn it on over here, loop so that it loops over and over again. So when we basically, when the song or the track finishes, it will continue to play it from scratch. Same as on your recorder, on your Walkman, man. So going back over here, inside of our sound controller, what we are going to do is we are going to get a reference or have a reference to every single clip that we have inside of our game. But we're also going to make this an instance. So I'm going to say public static sound controller and I'm going to call this one instance. And inside of the wake, if our instance is equal to null, then the instance is going to be equal to this. And this is how we are going to basically communicate with the sound controller and over here we are going to have a serialized field for a private sound clip uh, actually it's the audio clip so audio clip and by the way i'm doing all of this from my head i didn't pre-script it it's not that hard but still i didn't pre-script it so we are going to have player jump sound player jump sound we are going to have the game over sound we are going to have the enemy or spider jumper spider jumper attack sound and i believe that is that let me just go over here and see all of the sounds that we have so collectible yeah we also have the collectible so over here comma and collectible 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 sound there you go collectible sound what if I tell you that I have more tutorials with better explanations and a more comprehensive guide than this one that you're following? Sounds interesting? Well, that's my Game Development Academy and inside you have more than 80 courses, more than 500 hours of content for you to learn game development with Unity, Unreal Engine and everything in between. So click the link down below and check it out. Now, in order for us to play all of these, we need to attach them on the sound controller. So make sure that you go over here, player jump, this is the one, game over, here is the game over, the spider jumper attack sound, here it is, spider jumper attack, and last but not least, we have the collectible. So over here, we are going to create public functions, so we're going to say public void, play, player jump sound like that and it's simply going to call here the audio source so audio source dot play clip at point and the clip is going to be player jump sound at point transform that position basically there you go so this is for our player jump and now i'm simply going to copy and paste it and now instead of player jump i am going to say over here game over so game over sound and over here we're going to say game over game over sound going back over here we are going to play next the spider jumper so here it's the spider attack so spider attack and over here i'm simply going to say spider jumper attack sound and last but not least we have the collectible so over here play collectible sound and simply over here we're going to say collectible sound that's all there is to it the only thing that we need to do is go and call this bad boy so call the appropriate functions where we need them so in the gameplay controller over here in the game over we can call our game over so we can say sound controller that instance play game over sound and there you go so this is going to play the game over sound 
Next, we have the player jump, which is over here. Handle jumping, there you go. Over here, we can say something like sound controller instance, play, player jump sound, there you go. When we collect the, I, the collectible, so which is over here, so if we tag or coll tag collide with the player, we can call the sound controller that instance that play collectible sound. And last but not least, we have our spider jumper who is over here. Here is the spider jumper. And every time we jump, which is over here, then we are going to say sound controller that instance play spider attack sound. And basically that's it. I can pump up my volume just a little bit so that we can hear all of this. And let's try it out. So if I go over here and if I jump, we should hear the jump sound. So let me try. We can hear the spider jumper as well. So, and let me try to hear the collectible. Uh, we cannot hear it because of the spider jumper, so I'm going to go over here. And for the spider jumper, we heard it. So there you go, we have the spider jumper. And I'm going to remove him because we cannot hear other sound effects. So let's try it out over here. Let's try to jump. There you go. Let's try to pick up a collectible item. So going over here. Hmm. We didn't hear the collectible item. Let me try here, collectible. Hmm, for whatever reason. Game over. We heard the game over sound, by the way. But for whatever reason, jump, game over, collectible sound. Let me try that out over here in the collectible. Play collectible sound, or let me just go over here. Okay, here it is. Play clip at point, collectible sound. Maybe it's because of the transform position, but no, it should not be because of transform that position. We still hear, we still hear the, we heard the spider jumper and public way collectible sound going back again over here, collectible. Hmm. Very, very strange. Very strange that we cannot hear the collectible sound. Let me try it out again. So going back over here and here. Come on. <laughs> very strange. I am amazed why this is not working. Collectible. Hmm. Okay, game over is working, but the collectible sound is not working. <laughs> I am amazed. I don't, I really don't know why. So play collectible sound and over here, if we go, here it is, collectible sound. There you go. Let's try it like this. I'm going to try and have a serialized field, a private audio source, audio source, collectible sound like this so instead of and it's collectible audio source there you go because i already named my i already named the collectible sound collectible sound so instead of calling this over here i'm going to call it over here to play and let's try that out so i'm going to go over here on the sound controller and we need to attach another audio source and I'm going to move this one, move up and uncheck the play on awake and over here, attach the collectible. There you go. And attach this audio source over here. I'm really curious to see if this is going to work right now. So let's try it out quickly going here before we die. Well, <laughs> I don't know why it's not playing. Maybe because of the sound of the... Is it, is the collision actually working? This is really interesting for me. So let's try over here, debug.log. And over here, we collided with player. And I'm going to duplicate one of these collectibles and just place them over here so we don't have to walk every single time. So I'm going to basically take this one and duplicate it and move it over here. 
and I'm really curious to see to what is happening. Let's try it out. <laughs> you see, it's not even being printed. Uh... <laughs> Stupid me, look at that, it's in the diamond, it's over here, I need to call it over here as well, so it needs to go sound controller, that instance, that instance, that play collectible sound, there you go, so now it is going to play, <laughs> you see, this. these are the problems that you encounter as a developer what else can i say <laughs> oh man i was like what is this why it's not working i it's not even colliding what and so because of that i can simply remove this one we don't need it it will lose the reference over here but we are going to lose it from here as well so i'm going to remove this from here and this is going to go over here and this is going to be removed because this actually works instead of, you know, you saw that. I'm not even going to explain myself. <laughs> Let's try it out right now. There you go. There you go. So, yeah, basically that is that when it comes to the game. What else can I say? Thank you for, you know, watching the video and going through all of these and whatnot and watching this last video, which is embarrassing and whatnot. <laughs> And uh, yeah, if you like, hit that like button. If you want more of these, I plan to do Unreal Engine. I plan to do, you know, a, a lot of things when it comes to when it comes to the when it comes to the tutorials that I'm going to put out on a daily basis. This was a 20 part video and whatnot. You get the point. Like, subscribe, comment down if you want to learn more. I also want to do Unreal Engine, comment what you want to learn. And uh, yeah, also before I go, I, there is no need to explain all of this here. This is play clip at point, I'll play, the, play this clip at this point, self-explanatory. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.